Honor on our special guest. Are we still good? Okay, then I got the floor. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you so much for coming out. And as Aaron said, every door knock matters. So, uh, it, it, to set the record straight, I did not win by 126 votes. I won by 125. <laughs> I'm not sure why they took one away the last day, but they took one away. It must have been a hanging chat or something along those lines. But 125 votes out of 175,000 votes cast. So when we talk about how important every door knock, every phone call made, every social media tweet, every dollar raised, every postcard sent, every conversation you have with a friend about how important this election is and who to vote for, we know it firsthand. So please go out there. I know we've got two and a half weeks to go. You may get tired and not want to knock on one more door. But that one more door multiplied by the number of people in this room could be the difference between victory and failure. And one of the coolest things in this, uh, for me, in, in, in running, uh, you know, and, and just to go back, literally the Women's March is what inspired all of us to realize that we did not have to take the Trump administration's agenda sitting down. That we could get up, we could fight back, we could resist, and we could uh, make sure that our elected leaders understood where we stand on the issues. And Indivisible has done an absolutely phenomenal job of rallying people, not just here, even though this is the best place they've done it, <laughs> uh, uh, but around the entire country. And it's to stand up to that agenda. And, and so, again, I can't thank you guys enough for your support. I really do want you to know that the, the modeling shows that if we get the vote out, we win. And uh, the, the coolest, one of the coolest moments in the, in the race for us, uh, in, 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 and before I forget to introduce my wife, Kara, here. <laughs> my youngest son, Dylan. My middle son, Shay. And daughter, Avery, right here. So Kara and I got to meet uh, President Obama at an event uh, a few months ago. And it was so wonderful to hear that message of hope and opportunity instead of the morning tweet tantrum that we have from our current president. And, and President Obama talked about how you know, our country's clearly on two different paths. And, and I don't have to tell you what those two paths are. You know it. That's why you're here. But he said that ultimately, if you believe our democracy, as you know it, is under threat, if you believe the foundations of our republic are being chipped away, then sitting on the couch and watching Rachel Maddow is not going to change it. Yeah. It's going to require you to get out and vote. And if you plan on voting, get out and help others vote. And that's what you guys are doing. And, and this is going to be the difference between success and failure. Because the last thing any of us want is to wake up on the morning of November 8th and say to ourselves, gosh, I wish I had done more. Because this is our chance. This is our opportunity. This is the most important election in our lifetimes. And this time, it really is the most important election in our lifetimes. So thanks to all of you. Let's get this done. such an important time in our country. Um, you know, I think regardless of what party you have been associated with or are associated with, I think we have to align with our values as human beings and what we stand for, and we need to support candidates that stand by those values. And, um, and I just think it's, it's really wonderful that you guys are showing up. You're spending your weekend that you can be spending with family and friends doing um, important work. I think as a, a citizen in this country, we owe it to everyone who paved the way for us to be here and to be able to exercise our right to vote. And I think the more um, equal uh, it can, we can be represented uh, on so many levels, we can actually feel like we are seen and heard. Because right now I feel in the country, we don't, we, we aren't always seen, and, and we definitely don't feel heard. And uh, it's not fair. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for standing up for fairness. 
um, all of you who have children, all of you whose ancestors came from other countries, which is basically all of us. <laughs> what this country was founded on was uh, having hope that anything is possible, and I feel like I am definitely, as an entrepreneur, similar to you. Uh, I've been able to have a dream and, and push and hustle and use my grit to make it come true and I've been able to fully realize my dreams and I hope that future generations will be able to have that type of country to grow up in. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you. How many races are you working on? Because we're so honored to have you here at the 48th District to beat Gator Warbacher, Russ's favorite congressman. So, uh, I'm sure you have many other races that you're helping out on as well. I, you know what, to be quite honest, I'm more about getting people to sign up to vote, but I Good. do know that there is an unprecedented amount of folks who are using silly and ridiculous rhetoric to get people to care about one issue, and I think one issue voting is really ignorant, and I think that the more that we can just feel like the country is being represented fairly, um, that that to me is why I'm here. And, and I actually used to come here when I was a kid. I, I'm from the Inland Empire, but this was like my beach. <laughs> this was like where I used to go. I was part of Calvary Chapel uh, back in the day when I was 12. Um, and so this is, it's fun to be here uh, now as, as an adult and to support you. And, and I've read about you and your values, your father and your entrepreneur. And, What's ironic about what your opponent is saying about, you know, he's, he's, he says he's the poorest candidate and this and that. The thing is, is when you have been able to be successful and when you're independently wealthy, you don't need to rely on special interests to sway where your values lie versus someone who might. And so I just think it's a ridiculous um, comment that he makes alo along with, you know, everything else. <laughs> It's not just politics. The Honest Company is dedicated to... Yeah, my company that I founded is is um, completely about trying to empower people to live a, a healthy, happy life. And I was able to launch my company through technology. So I am a, kind of a tech entrepreneur, but I also own a CPG company. Um, and so, yeah. And, and, and I started acting when I was 12. And somehow I figured out how to do that. <laughs> it's my little side hustle. <laughs> and I also think you brought ice cream. Oh yeah, my so my yes. so a friend of mine founded a ice cream company called Cool House, and uh, and and so they did really yummy ice cream sandwiches. And I was like, what a better way to kick off you guys going around and getting people excited about voting than to have uh, celebrate with some nice. Yummy treats. So, uh, so there's, there's some yummy ice cream sandwiches and ice cream out there for you all. And uh, again, I mean, we're trying to preserve our democracy and the American dream here. So thank you guys for everything you're doing. Jessica coming down, helping out. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for the ice cream. Let's give her a big round of applause. George.